It's all, it's all, it's all connected. 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 It's all connected, all right. You can guarantee yourself of that. Welcome to the show. This is the It's All Connected Show. Now, with circling. Circle, circle. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we're, we're now at this time here, 2 p.m. Eastern rather than 7 p.m. Eastern. And I say we correctly at this point. I always said we anyway, even if it was just me for whatever reason uh <laughs> but did that feel odd to you it, well it, it it didn't feel odd saying it but then after thinking about it it was always odd but yeah. uh yeah. so I, I i don't know why but i i do tend to refer to myself uh in a solo show as we which <laughs> You think that's like a Nietzsche uh, deep fear of being alone? No, I like see, a I profound see, fear of being alone. No, I think it's nothing. To do. I think it's the fact that I have many entities within my head. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> voices from beyond. Uh, anyway, welcome to the show. Uh, we are live on RealLibertyMedia dot com. And on rlmradio.xyz, also on realliberty.org, and uh, other places, other places where we're out there. So uh, if you're not over here in the chat on reallibertymedia.com, Real come on over, jump on in, talk to all the great folks that are here. We always got a nice group of folks, and um, I have decided, however, that uh, we we don't we don't. We don't need to read people's names off. <laughs> no, because the other shows do that. Yeah, it, you know, I don't yeah. even know. I'm not sure how that started. It was a long time ago. I think Freakers Ball probably started doing yeah. that. Uh, but uh, you all know who you are if you're here, right? Anyway, come on in. There's a big, nice group of folks over here. And uh, jump into the chat and say, hi, howdy, how you doing? And uh, be one. You know, uh, I once, when I was a teenager, my best friend B was a, uh, um, what do you call it, paranoid schizophrenic, right? And we didn't know. So we had a lot of fun, and then all of a sudden it turned really serious, and uh, she got admitted to the insane asylum. So I started hanging out there with her and the other um nutters who were in there nutters. um yeah they were um, I, they were nutters man right okay. and uh, okay. one of them he was absolute he was writing down these big large books of memoirs um and he was he want he always want, gave them to me and he wanted me to put them in the royal archive of uh documents for the kingdom of denmark right which is like a building you go to and he wanted me to take them there so I had all these writings from this madman where he just rambled his paranoid schizophrenic thoughts out. And I once asked him, so how do you define insanity? And the guy, his name was Richard. The guy, he says, um, when you're never really ever alone. Oh, so that I, was like I guess his I, definition I, of insanity. I, I guess I am insane. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Do you write big books of all your thoughts? <laughs> oh no, no. That that sounds no. that sounds too much like work. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's just it reminded me of that when you said I'm really never ever alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that is, you know, the the name of the show though, right? It's all connected. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, I have titled today's show. You've titled it. Yes, I always title the shows, but today mm -hmm. I've, I've, I have, I've titled today's show. We have been encircled. <laughs> oh, we've been encircled. With so, <laughs> we, in your serial number right now, indexing, right? Is this? Do you do a point something? one for this show or did you just start over no it's just going to be the next episode episode seven okay so you don't do a 7.1 
No, I mean, you know, I could do that, but, um. Well, if you don't need to. Yeah, I don't, I don't really see a need to. Yeah, no. Yeah. It'll, it'll be, uh, it'll, it'll be seamless, right? It will all be connected anyways, right? Exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I have some questions for you, Grimmier. All right, go ahead. About um, connected. And but because when I think about connected, I see it as a very positive thing, right? Yeah, in general, it is. It's uh, as you got open lines of communication to whatever that you're connected to, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. But it, but it, then there, you know, because then there's also being attached to something. Right. Yes. You were you were defining the the differences between attached, which is a physical thing. Versus connected, which is not, or not necessarily. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't think about the physical thing. Right, but I, but I mean, yeah. um, being attached would would, would lead to uh, a physical thing, even though it's not always the yeah. case. Not always true. Um, I mean, like you could say, you and Flash are attached. That we are. Right. But that's not always a physical thing. No. No. But you're also connected, which is always there, uh, whether yeah. you're whether you're in the same physical place or not. You know, you could be off at your office at, at work, wherever, but but you're still you still have that 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 connection going on between you. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But you wouldn't say that since everything is connected, you wouldn't say that everything is attached to each other, though, right? No, that that would make a mess. <laughs> and that, that would be chaos theory, yeah. though, right? <laughs> in some way. <laughs> that'd be a... That'd well, be when, a you know. <laughs> when somebody farts in Edinburgh, it somehow makes a difference in New Mexico. Well, that may be true, actually, but uh, mm. it'd take a while for that effect to, to cross. <laughs> to cross yeah. over the uh, Atlantic there and get on over to here, uh, yeah. That's but. Uh, Do you think some people or you know some things ha um, tend to st attach itself to us, so that we're no longer just connected, but we're all sort of attached? Do you think that's like a Karen syndrome? Kind of a parasitic type thing. Yeah, well, where whatever somebody does on the street all of a sudden affects you in some way and you feel a need to correct it? Well, it depends on what it is, obviously. I mean, if you know about it to begin with, to start with, I mean, that's, that's got to... Uh, and, and, and it's for some reason you uh, feel opposed to whatever action that was. Uh, then, then certainly you you may feel a need to connect it, or you may not. You may just say, "Well, that's their thing. That's what they did. They wanted to do it in that manner, uh, and I'm okay with it because even though it may have some effect on me, it's not uh, serious enough to get me into to move into action to modify what they had done, change that outcome." Hmm. So, as as I, when I okay, go ahead. Mm? No, go no, ahead. you go. No, you go. No, you go. Go. <laughs> go. Okay. Well, I was just gonna say, right now, looking at um, where you're at, right? Right. Because not where you are in Little uh, Moriarty, um, but in in the national uh, whatever territory we call America right now, right? Right. Right. Everything is like everything is burning right now. That's what it looks like. Okay. Um, well, I, I don't know that everything is burning, but there are um, isolated areas where things are burning and being smashed and whatever. Um, Do you think it, maybe? Some of that is because 
people forgot to be connected, but they got a fuckload of attached to everything. Well, we got all these all these things, external things like isms and movements and ideas and opinions and all these projected values that people s- sort of attach themselves to, right? I, I think a lot of it has to do with um, mindsets that are projected into them from external sources that have alternative motives uh that they aren't telling the people about uh that that mm. that cause them to think all right what that guy said makes sense to me but they but they don't look beyond the the surface comments or statements or however you want to put it um mm. uh, to to understand what's driving the person to say that in the first place uh, ca- causing them to go out and and perform whatever action, um, either for or against uh, the the things that have been programmed into their brain, um, and of course that goes you know that that's been going on for a long time, but it, it seems to be uh, well at this point, and if you compound it with other things that are going on, like these lockdowns, these global lockdowns, hmm. uh, which have driven people to a, a state of total restlessness and they, they can't take it uh you know being being cooped up in their in their places or forced to wear these stupid things over their faces uh and, and so they find this other thing that is maybe you know important to them to a degree but not to the major degree that would cause them normally to go out and and and, and start uh going after other people or people's property or whatever uh, but but they do it now because of all the other frustrations that are going on. Um, hmm. I think that's a, a a big part of it. So, uh, but maybe okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna dare a thought here, right? Please. I'm I'm gonna go with that. Uh, maybe they forgot to be connected to the spirit and the source from which all life came, right? And instead, they attached their whole being onto these external ideas and idealisms and groups and um, pictures and colors, right? Right. Well, in that, and, and I think that it's easier and preferred for most or many, um, it's easier or preferred that somebody else tell them what to think. Yeah. <laughs> rather, rather than digging, they, what what's that old... Uh, forget where it came from know thyself mm. that little thing is I, I don't i don't think most people actually do they don't time to take the time to, to self-examine uh who they are as a person um, no because that's interesting if you ask a, a stranger who are you first off they're going to give you a name right and then they're going to give you all these uh external attributes on top of them right yeah they'll say oh, i'm yeah. a carpenter Okay, yeah. that's something you do, but is that you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then if you go like deeper and you go, no, okay, if you take all that, what? Who are you then, right? Then they will define themselves as some other status or something else they're in relation to somebody else, right? And then eventually they'll go into their preferences. Well, then I'm somebody who likes ice cream or I'm somebody that enjoys polo or but that's because it's a non-question though really who are you who are you Grimnir right who Who are you I am I am I am I am the uh, the uh, writer I guess the writer in this vehicle that I'm in here this this flesh vehicle (laughs) <laughs> and I'm just passing through. I'm just passing through. Uh this this stuff, this this whole reality, I guess you would call it because that's what people mm. call it. Uh although I I don't believe it to be reality, but but people call it as a, a reality. Um so I'm 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 just the uh, uh kind of an observer. Uh I and I, I and, and really I am. I mean, I I I do far more observing watching uh taking in 
uh, well, the things that are around me in my environment, whatever that may be, whether it's, you know, right here in this room that I'm in or whether it's, you know, through the Internet or uh, whatever, walking down the street, seeing people mm-hmm. interact with each other. I I enjoy observing the actions of others. Um, and, and and so for me, uh, this is stuff that I'll, I'll, you know, when I leave this place, this body, this realm, <laughs> whatever you want to call mm-hmm. it, um, that's all going with me. That that's all part of me now. Uh, you know, this, in my in my views and uh, opinions mm. of of whatever it is that I, uh, I, I mean, you look out there and you see people doing things and you think, well, these people are just nuts. They're crazy. But again, like I said, I, I think they're they're being driven to that uh, via information that, that is being yeah. pushed at them. And, you know, whether they take time to analyze that information or they just accept it and say, all right, I'm going with that. Um, I, I, I think mm-hmm. that's I think that's a key there. Yeah. But who are you? Well, if you're the observer, right? Um, then I guess I'm more of a experimenter. Okay. I like to poke at shit. I like to put shit together. I like to see what happens. I like to start shit and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's good. And But you do that, too, so that you can mm-hmm. observe the outcomes, right? Yeah. 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 So you, you may go about it in a more of a direct, hands-on type thing, but in the end, yeah. uh, we're both doing it so that we can... Uh, understand whatever it is that we're dealing with or seeing. Yeah. I think pretty much uh, when it comes to what am I, then I'm I'm mainly just having fun. Yeah, I think Rob Works has it right there. Circle is yeah. a number one shitster. <laughs> I am. I like to do shit. I like to see what happens. I like to plant shit in the garden. I like to see whatever happens. Put two stuff together and see what the fuck was it's that gonna do. And it all it's all about learning, as you say. Okay, then I learned that. Now I can tell you this much: I mainly do the same thing, uh, the same way until I mastered it. Then I stop ever doing it. Once I learn something, I'm never going to do it that way ever again. Okay, so uh, um, all right. So let, let, let's say you uh, you uh, play a musical instrument. Do you play one? No, not okay. anymore. I used to play the organ. Okay, so like anyway, the... you you learn a song on the organ. Yeah. And you play that song, da 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 da, and it and yeah. it's perfect. It's exactly how you want it. Yeah, then I why would I ever play it again then? Uh for the entertainment of others or uh, that's just boring. Doing shit over and over again <laughs> is just boring. All right, all right. <laughs> well, that's, but but you could win. Yeah. Redoing it. I loved I I loved the the repeating until you mastered. That's really fun, right? Yeah, yeah. But once you mastered it, then what's the point of it then? But you could you could always, even though the way you had it was exact and perfect, it's possible you can modify that a little bit and have that yeah. new thing be exact and perfect. Because that yeah exactly. So then you I add, add a little a extra, way. add a little extra yeah. flourish on the end or in the middle wherever, yeah. um, and it's like well the other one was terrific and great and perfect, but this one is too. Yeah. So even though I'm, I don't think, but see that's a that's a different thing, right? It's that whole perfection thing, right? Because mm-hmm. in in basic, um, um, whatever you know, whatever is is what's perfect, right? Because it is. But does anything? So, but does anything actually measure up to the ideal of perfection? But see, how could something that isn't be more perfect than something that is? 
See, that's the thing I don't get. It's it's the whole we can sit here and we can say, but if it was, or maybe, or it could be, or then it would be a lot better, or if this, then it would be perfect, or if this dude wasn't there, or if this didn't. I mean, all this stuff that we can sit and think about would make things better. Those are just illusions, right? They're not real. They don't exist. Right, but but even 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 say something simple, like yeah. your your name is Circle, but not talking about that kind of circle. They say you could never have a perfect circle, but you look at a circle that that that, is, that you create or somebody else creates, um, and it looks like a perfect circle, but in in some yeah. way they say that you can't have a perfect circle well i'm gonna say if i'm gonna hula hoop right? right i can i can't i can't hula hoop with some imaginary perfect circle it no. doesn't exist it's right. just it's just something you pull out of uh, out of your mind it doesn't exist and and Vinny says that it's the idea not ideal yeah okay if that's how you like it. <laughs> yeah. Vinny he likes to correct stuff. Right, Vinny? Yeah. That's yeah, okay. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Sure. I mean, you know, like I said, if nothing's perfect, then there's always a correction to be done, right? No, but it's really, you know, that's that's when we're back to the whole thing. Because um, everything is more than what it is now in its in its whatever end shape or current shape or current state it you know everything is also the process and the and the energies and the history that made it and created it and molded it into what it is right now All right. nothing is never just a point you know right? okay yeah no i'm thinking about it yeah um you're not just you in this moment, right? You didn't magically appear in this whoever, whatever shape or form you're in right now. It took sixty years to mold that. Yeah, and moldy, <laughs> moldy it is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> so you're just not you're not just the the atoms and the physical compounds that you exist within you right now, right? No, that's just what makes this, you know, what makes physical things up. These, those atoms yeah. and compounds, uh, those are not the actual substance. No. That, that, so that, everything that is, everything that is, is part of what it became. You know where it came from and what it became. That those are also part of what it, what is. Right. 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 So in this now, where everything led to this moment, and everything, every little itty bitty thing, you know got together and it grew and it molded and it shaped and it all processed into this moment, right? How is that not perfect? How is that not perfect for this moment? How can we sit here and say, oh, but if only it was, or uh, if only this and this guy became first. Uh, whatever, right? right? You know, stupid shit you, you put your attached your own happiness to, right? Yeah, like, there are people out there, Grimnir, that attach their own happiness to whatever kind of person is in the White House. Uh, is that not insane? Up? Is that one of the not one of the most insane things? Is that uh, you want somebody uh, to be able to control you and everybody else, you, you, and you and you go out there and cheer and clamor and march for to, to have a certain person that is that is obviously no better than you are uh to have them in control of things and tell you what what you what you what what you can do or not do it's insane it's it's it's, it's insane it's it's, it's yeah well, I'm, i keep coming back to the attachment part right it's because you attached your whole being or your own happiness or or your own idea of what's good or what perfect you attach that to something external outside of yourself and you're going to be chasing it forever right of course yeah i, I mean I, you know uh, most people I, i'd say the large large majority of people 
um, know know what's right and what's good and and what's not good, and if they follow that 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 thing, you know, within their own head, saying, "Hey, what you're doing here, this doesn't make any sense." You're you're, you're you know you're, sure. you're you're following along because this guy over here said this is what everybody wants, and <laughs> and of course nothing is what everybody wants. There's, there's no, no thing that everybody wants. <laughs> Maybe I'm yeah. going to go with, you know, I'm, 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 because as you said, right, earlier you said the whole thing about who are we really, and nobody ever really asked that question to themselves. Who are you really? <laughs> and it comes into the whole of, of because uh, all that election bullshit and politics and all that, that's just noise, right? It is. A whole lot of noise. It's a huge amount of noise, right. Yes, and if you take it away, then there will be silence. And for a lot of people, that profound silence is really scary. It is. I, I've noticed that about people. Um, uh, you know, most people, they want to have other folks, other people around them uh, at, at all the time. You know, they they, yeah. they they don't like being alone. They don't like being by themselves with their own thoughts. And, yeah. and to me, that's crazy. Because um, mm. oh, I'm totally the opposite of that. I absolutely enjoy the isolation and the sol solitude that I can have by, you know, by living alone and by, by just, you know, take, you know, other than when I come in here on the IRC or, or – whatever if i have to go out into public for whatever reason uh i don't i don't need to deal with people and i and all all of the i i, I can focus on on my own self and what i am and what what i think about things and not have other people's uh, opinions and uh, ideas uh pushing into my brain to say this is what's right and this is what's wrong because i already know that mm. J just like yeah. Those people would if they took the time uh, to to. Uh... But see, you already have a distance, then, right? Because you already say this is not right, or this is not wrong, or it is not right, or it is not wrong, right? Yeah. But some people will be so attached to all that that they're going to be like, "You're not right, and he's not right, and I'm right, and you're not right." Okay, there's like a. I'm looking in the chat here. I don't mean to interrupt, but uh, Pancakes is saying, uh, silent is our natural nature, and, and Rob replies, mm -hmm. nature is far from silent, which is absolutely true. But you're not going to hear the nature if you don't silence yourself. Um, no. You have to you have to take, take that time to quiet everything and, and get in tune with what's going on mm -hmm. around you. Uh, away from the noises of other humans and, and uh, as he's talking and about your own mind. machinery. And, and your own mind. Absolutely, too. and your own mind. And and all of the voices there within your own mind. And then we're like, you know, back to the whole thing about, you know, cutting those attachments while staying connected. Because if you go into nature, that is definitely what nature does for me. Is it it helps me unattached or disattached or however you would say that deattach, detached, eh. detached, Sorry. detached. Yeah, uh, from all that bullshit that you spend. All, the more you're in among society and and people around you, the more they're going to try to attach stuff on you. Right? They're going to ask you about your opinions, and the minute you start speaking your opinion, well, I feel this and this, or I think this and that, you just attach yourself to some stupid opinion. And if you're not really careful, then you're going to attach yourself to all sorts of opinion that you never even thought about. And and then when you go into nature, you can combat all that, and you can detach to detach from all that while you connect to to the sounds of nature to and to the other stuff of nature which is like the energies and the frequencies of nature right or which they there's an endless amount of those yeah and in that 
uh, by doing that, all that noise that comes from your own mind, which was like all that chaos and noise that came from the outside world that in, put into your mind, all that can be silenced too. And nature yeah. does that beautifully. Well, I, I was when I was listening back to our to that old show that we did on the perspectives, mm. and um, I was talk you, you were talking about meditation. And and, yeah. I, and I brought up the fact that, okay, and, which you you corrected me on, but I brought up the fact I'm that sorry. no 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 it's good it's good that you did uh, because it made more sense after that. But I brought up the fact that uh, it, when you look at various meditation guides, people telling you how to to, to get there to get to the state where you want to be, the first thing you have to do is to quiet your mind to silence your mind. But that's not true. That's the process of meditation is doing that. Right. And you brought and you brought out the fact that it's not possible to to yeah. absolutely silence your mind. It, it's just because there's always something coming in into that there. Uh and what whatever those ideas may be, wherever they come from, um uh, they are a part of your consciousness of what what things that are there, whether you want them there or not necessarily. Um. Yes. Meditation <laughs> helps you not get on board into it, right? No, Meditation helps that you can have a thought and you can just let it pass. What's, what's that, get a board? Yeah, you don't have to get on board into the thought when it comes. Oh, you don't okay. have so, to attach yourself to it I and see, run with it, right? Right, 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 right. It can just come and go. And the same goes for feelings. You know, I often hear people, well, I can't control how I feel. Well, uh, no, you can't control what kind of emotions and feelings come into you, but you can control how easy that you let them pass you, right? Oh, yeah. You're, you're you don't have to engage them. Your your reaction to that is, is absolutely up to you. And, and if you have some, you know, whatever level of self-control, uh, you, you don't just, oh, that guy... What he did, I didn't like it, so I'm going to go over there and do something bad to him. Yeah. There's no reason for that, ever. You yeah. you could say, well, he did that, and probably maybe examine the reasons why you think he did that. He believed it was the right thing to do. It, you didn't like it. You didn't agree with it. But but it's up to you to, to, to say, yeah. well, I don't have to multiply or... Uh, expand on on this on this reaction which which I thought was incorrect by doing something incorrect myself. Yeah. If that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. And really on on the your own little level, right? Whenever a thought or an emotion pops up, you just you you got to remember you don't have to engage it, right? That's right. They're going to come, they're going to, you know, emotions and thoughts, they're just going to come and go through your being. And the better you get at not just running with one, but sitting back and looking at it and going, do I want to engage that one? And just take control about it, though, right? Yeah, yeah. That took me a long time to learn that because I'm, I'm an anger person. You are? <laughs> yeah, I am. You don't, you don't seem like an You seem like a... Very no, well. I'm an anger person. I react with anger a lot, and I'm I'm expressive about my anger. So if something, you know, if, if something, you know, that doesn't feel right or something doesn't look right or something isn't right, I react immediately and I go, hey, that isn't right. Right. Okay, well, I'm looking at your chart here that you sent me, your yeah. flow, flow chart, and and I yeah. get to you under, under the It's All Connected there, the Profoundly. We can't change anything by doing more of the same, and it leads exactly. off leads off to the side where your anger part came in. Fueled by anger will create anger. Yes, and that's pretty much a comment to what is happening in America right now, right? In the world, it's not just America, that's for sure. But I mean, America gets pointed out because we're they're they're, they're the big bully of the world. Um, that that. Uh, per and pretends, because we're burning pretend, down each other, man. Uh, you know, America pretends to stand on this moral high ground, and and you look around, and it's, and it's not true. It's never been true. Um, no, uh, about no. America. I, I, 
I, I the more I look at um and I hate to cuz everybody is listening and everybody I know here are Americans so you, I'm really going to try to say it without offending anybody. Well, right? I think I think you may have just offended Frumpy. Oh, I'm sorry, Frumpy. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I know I know Canadians they kind of got this thing about being called American. I didn't mean you Frumpy. Everybody but Frumpy. I, yeah. Uh, but the, the more I, I, the more I'm with you people, and the more of the America you show me, and the more I look at America through news and everything, the more I see how utterly tainted and poisoned everything is there. And I know that that's that's very judgmental from somebody who never been there. Well, and, and I can imagine looking at it from from um, outside. Getting you know, getting your information wherever you get it from the UK or uh, I don't yeah. know what kind of news sources you guys have there in Denmark, but um, <laughs> if if you're here, if you live here, and and you you go walk outside up and down the road there, you're gonna see it's calm, it's peaceful. There's people just doing their thing. There, there's no bad, there, there's no rioting. But if you live in no, those no. Th those little pockets where that stuff is going on. Uh, in Portland or in Los Angeles, New York, Chicago, uh, th those 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 places where all of the chaos is is, is going on, um, then you probably think everything is like that because that that's you that's what you see that's your your focus and that's what you get. Through. But it's also your rhetoric, and it's your, it's it's not your. Oh, this is where I didn't want to go. It, okay, it's the American. I'm going to go with the American, and you all people can realize who's in it or not. You can group yourself however you want, but it's all based on violence. It's all based on war. So much of your language is about war. Right. Um, you have so much division. Instead of trying to find together, you, the go-to solution of the American way is to start more, is to do drama, is to escalate things all the time. You escalate, ev not you. They esc everything gets escalated, right? Right. Every well, you conflict know, I, I... becomes a super conflict and a flaw. It's like you. It it goes from zero to a hundred within two seconds. Uh, America was founded on war. Yeah. To, to, in order to start America, they had to they had to go to war, and when they were doing that war, uh, they were they were in cahoots with some people that you don't even know about that were either funding them or providing them a weaponry or soldiers or or whatever mm -hmm. uh, to 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 do you know to to go ahead and do that war, and behind that. It was all the corruption of, of of the banks, of the banksters, the people that were loaning loaning out all that stuff. So that when, once they got out of that war, they were they were in up to their their neck in yeah. in owing owing other people very in various ways. Uh, and and so with that, once that happened, and those those people that that had done whatever funding or other supplying. Uh, you know they wanted they wanted their due what they felt they were, it was due and in order to do that they had to make it so that all the Americans uh, were controlled without realizing it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> because if, but see that's the whole thing, right? If we go back to the whole thing about all is more than what it is and it's now, everything is also what it, what it became and the process that created it, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, uh, yeah, yeah. Just because you add A and B doesn't mean all all that's there is A and B. No, because there was the, the fact of you, right? So that you had a thing there, and adding that A and B, whatever those A and B are. Um, yeah, and everything and, and else so that, that so, you encountered, and, so, and right, and, whatever. and I'm just it because I had like you know like a bread. If you bake a bread, it's both the components that goes into the bread, but it's also the energy or the frequency that the baker added to it. And whatever brought the, whatever it, right? whatever whatever was brought those things into being components of what you put yes. into it. So, and see, this is this is one of the biggest. Um, 
this is one of the biggest uh, puzzles to me that I'm trying to figure out with knowing all you Americans, all you Yankee <laughs> bitch, bitches and bastards, right? Right. Is that um, I, 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 I got to say this, so anybody can be angry with me now or, or take it to heart or whatever, but the American culture is tainted. It's poisonous. It's about war and violence and Very paranoia tough. and fear. All the way through. Yeah, very, very toxic. Um, yes. And I, then I look at... Go ahead. And then I look at, at a lot of people that I know, and they tr they seem to... You, you are one of them, seem to have transcended that, right? And and figured out another way to be, right? Uh, well, I, and, I, and I like to say that it's due to apathy, because I just don't care. <laughs> but no, because, that's, see, that's, that's because not, if you that, didn't care, that's not actually. If you didn't care about you, you'd be over there being attached your whole being to a Trump or something other yeah. stupid. Well, I say that, but I don't actually. I mean, it's just easier than trying to explain. I know, but uh, to, to say that it just doesn't matter. I just don't care um, yeah. <laughs> because in the long, in the overall picture. I mean, none of none of us are here for really that long. We're here for a very, very short time, uh, each individual. Uh, so what this person does or says doesn't make that much of a difference, generally speaking, not not 100%, but in, in the long run. Uh, so you can have your views and opinions and get upset or happy or whatever about, you know, various things that go on. But overall, you know, it's it's such a minor little thing um now, now but you... i will say this though maybe grimnir it's not because you have apathy maybe it's because you have a profound empathy with your own being that you well, don't I do, wish I do have to that. live in a world where others constantly piss you off and you don't want to be in that poison and toxicity and maybe right. that's why that you evolved your being out of that I, I guess Maybe I don't because know. you care. Yeah, well, you know, there there is a level there and, and when I was younger I would get more excited about crap that's going on in the world and I found it to be um valueless for for me to do to do that. <laughs> to be getting upset over the stuff that's going on. Um so so I Because it didn't feel nice, right? Well it wasn't it, it just didn't do any good. It was it was pointless. See, the anger takes so much energy, and yeah. and, and yeah. the joy and the pleasure and the love <laughs> that gives energy. So, do you yeah. want to do you want to get energy and feel good, or or do you want to uh, expend all your energy on what somebody what something else that's going on? It, it, it seems ridiculous. Um, now, mm. I, now you had you had mentioned and you called us Yankees before. And I know you do. That. <laughs> that's just that's I, that's I, out of love. That's no, just no, I know, I, I know you do that out of jest, and that's that's cool, yeah. that's fun. But I, although I don't recall ever meeting her, apparently, um, the person that adopted my father, uh, the 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 woman of the the two, there was a pair of people. Um, and, anyway, she was she she hated Yankees. Oh, she hated Ooh. him with a passion, um, and she she was from you know south down in South Florida, uh, but but if you if you came into her house and you were from like New York or uh, somewhere up above the Mason Dixon line, you you were shit, and she she would toss you out. And she'd <laughs> say, oh, over past things that had happened to somebody in her yeah. past yeah. that that was now gone and done with. Um, but but if you were a Yankee uh, versus being a rebel, um, then you you were you were just nothing. You were not even human. So no. and she she apparently spent a lot of energy and time on that. And <laughs> well, I'm gonna go. I have it from the uh, Danish Antifa. I was I grew up in the Antifa as a teenager or Antifa like environment, and we just call all American for Yankees. No, I understand that most most other yeah. countries consider all Americans yeah. to be Yanks. Yanks. Yeah. Yeah. Especially the Brits. <laughs> they call us yeah. Yanks. Yeah. Yeah, drink some coke, Yankee. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have another cheeseburger, you fat slob. He is. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, really, I don't live, you know, um, when I first came on the Internet and I started meeting Americans, they all told me that uh, how they thought that everybody outside of America hated them. Right. Because they were, they were the war nation and all that. Yeah, and they had all this self-hatred, all these people, because they just realized um, what – kind of horrible shit their state is doing to the world, not them, right? Right. And and I got to say, I, I don't grow up and around and I don't hang around people who hate America or hate Americans. Good. Not at all. That's good. Yeah. I don't live in a place where where there's the, this whole hate towards America. Good. But no, there is good. like a there there is a healthy um, skepticism about becoming too American. I, I would I would I would stick with that skepticism because <laughs> I, I mean if you look at America and all 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 the things done uh, here uh, whether it is the people you know like the consumerism which of course they were brainwashed into into believing they always had to have the next better thing the next best thing stick with. Uh, you know, uh, the Jones has got it, so I have to have it. Uh, that that mm. kind of mentality that drives <laughs> people to to keep on pushing and producing and uh, consuming. Or if you look at the the things that the government does, going around the world and bombing countries and saying they're doing it. You know, we're doing this for your freedom to mm. to bring you democracy uh, because that's going to be so much better. But they, but they destroy all all the lives of all the people there. And they're not helping anybody uh, by doing that. I mean, uh, just look at the, the state of a lot of the countries that they that they've demolished over the years, and mm. and it's not been helpful. <laughs> mm. So, so I I, I understand uh, there you should have a healthy skepticism about being Americanized. Um, I remember my um, history teacher. Um, in high school, she she would say that uh, um, because we went through the American Revolution and the American history, right? Um, and and she used to say that um, <laughs> America is just uh, it's it's so young, it doesn't have uh, a thousand years of history to rely on, so they're they're just reacting. <laughs> okay, uh, Vinny Vinny uh, looked up the, the difference between a Yankee and a damn Yankee. Um, <laughs> so someone born north of the Mason-Dixon line and uh, moves to the south, that would be a, a damn Yankee, I, th I think. Um, <laughs> yeah. But see, that sort of you know, um, nobody but a fucking Yankee knows what the Mason-Dixon line is. Okay? Right, right. Well, I'm sure that you probably <laughs> have geographical features in your country that that we wouldn't understand references to either. But that's the fun part about my country. It's, you can drive from one end to the other in six hours, right? You can't. But uh, along that drive, you will go past at least ten different kinds of people who almost have their own language, their own culture, their own history, their own something that's just – they barely even recognize their Danes. They're like from that little region of Denmark, and their family's always been that. And they, I can go three hours from here, and I wouldn't understand what people are saying to me. I can go three houses from here and not understand them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, <laughs> but it takes because three. you got those cool uh, round fields, though. Oh, yeah, those are yeah, little alfalfa fields, agriculture stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I found that fascinating. It, it's simple, you know. Auto, it's a good way to automate, you know. Yeah, if you got enough, if you got a lot of land. Yeah, 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 and you know. Yeah. So you just it, it, it saves so much labor, uh, you know, to be able to just automate that process of uh, growing uh, the alfalfa, you know, which mm -hmm. feeds the cattle, which produces the meat, yeah. which you eat, and yeah. then you crap out and becomes fertilizer to grow more alfalfa. Hey, so, hey. it's all connected. Oh, <laughs> all connected. We got to connect alfalfa though. We can, yeah. Uh, we'd do that somewhere. Yeah, and he doesn't have. You don't have to connect alfalfa to buckwheat. That was just a show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I've never seen that, children. Uh, I know it. That's the sick part of it, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I know yeah. what it is. They were they were never kind of like, they, they were fairly iconic, you know. Yeah, um, I know. The, the little, I think they played it. They aired it on uh, Danish TV when I was a kid. The Little Rascals. I'm sure you can yeah. find them on YouTube or wherever. Yeah. Yeah. But it's funny because there are so many American things I know what is that I've never even seen. Yeah. But because they're referenced in movies or in other, it's like, you know. Right. So yeah. um, we, we still have one question on my notes. Okay. What is that question? Well, that's the big question, though, the one you needed time to think about. Okay. Tell me about it. Okay. Well, it, it, it kind of starts with a statement, though. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to say a statement and then you can say if you agree or not and be, behind that is a question, right? All right. Okay, I would say that politically and economically and cultural power has been centralized at an almost exponential rate. Okay, I I don't know about the almost exponential part. Um, okay. But it you can has... just put a, an exclamation point behind centralized and then a dash at the almost exponential rate. Okay. Um, Mm -hmm. I think, and and it's pretty much been, uh, well, as as far back as recorded history goes, it has always been centralized. Um, There's always been somebody uh, willing to do what they're told by somebody that apparently... Uh, has more power and wealth than they do. And I, I don't know how far back, when I mean, you go back to the ancient Egyptians or, or prior to that, uh, and, and it was that way. There was there was some big poobah in charge of things, and the people followed him uh, or, or did his bidding for him. And, uh, and, and the, the people that were doing his bidding for him, uh, then the other folks that were just regular people would go ahead and obey because those people doing the bidding for the for the big guy in charge that had convinced the the rest of those people to do his bidding for him uh, that that um, that somehow <laughs> that they should go out there and enforce. Uh, his will against all of the rest of the people that were just regular folk. Yeah, but wouldn't you say if you like just take the last five hundred years, wouldn't you say that the centralization and the size of power in the political and economic and cultural elite at world has increased tremendously? And if you just take five hundred, wouldn't you say it's like almost exponential? Maybe. So I, I don't last know. I, I like. Think- 50, 40, 50 years went like nuts. Um, I, maybe, but I, I guess I was talking about the uh, ancient Egyptians. A- yeah. And anybody that wasn't one of uh, like the uh, you know the, the guards or the security people, the rest of the people yeah. were slaves. Yeah, you, so it's more like a cyclical thing, right? Then. Yeah. So. Uh, and, and so it's like it 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 expands and then it inflates and then it expands and then it inflates. And, and see, you know, the people of America, the Americans, believe, and they they actually actually absolutely believe this, that when when uh, when Lincoln was in office and after he killed a whole bunch of other Americans because they didn't believe like he did, uh, that that he ended slavery. Which, he abs- which is absolute nonsense, because instead of just having a certain group of folk under slavery, he made everybody under slavery uh, via, via well, not he personally, but uh, <laughs> through his yeah, actions he, he, and yeah. what, what was to, to become of that, uh, through, through, the, through the banking system, uh, created an entire nation of slaves um, thinking that they were free. And, but and, how did that happen, Grimnir? Uh, as I was talking about earlier, when, when America was started by war, it was founded on war, and, and through the funding and financing um, uh, of, of other 
people uh, that had a lot of means to do so. And so they funded, you know, one side funded funded the Americans and another side funded the uh, the Brits. Uh, either way, uh, the, the ones that funded the Americans after the wars were over, uh, they 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 said we want we want uh, uh, here's what we want to to pay that all back. So how did that happen? Was because it's all controlled through the currency system. So, but how how did how did people just let it? How did that happen? Because they accepted it, they believed that they were uh, they were free. They were told they were free. They accepted that, uh, all right, uh, this, this document over here, this Constitution, which they don't, at, people don't realize doesn't even apply to them. They, <laughs> it only applies to the people within uh, the area called Washington, D.C., and, and then not all of those either, just those that are connected to the government. Um, <laughs> it's a whole different story that we're not going to get into here. But, okay. but, but they believe that that document... Um, granted or protected it's supposed to be protected but they believe it granted uh, them freedom which it was never designed to do it was you people that think it applies to them uh it doesn't they they're never a, a signee on, on that document they never they don't have those rights um and and then when when now um even worse of course uh, then you say, "Oh, I'm a citizen, so I have these rights as a, as applied by that document." Uh, and then they have their birth certificate, which automatically signs their their property, them their own body themselves, uh, over to another entity at birth, and everybody's got to have one. But see, that's because see that comes back to rights, though, right? Because rights is not something that automatically uh, that that attaches itself to your being. You don't become anything you weren't when be given a right. Yeah, well, you you, you can't be given a right. Your your rights either exactly, exist. Exactly because it, you're not you don't get anything. It doesn't it doesn't alter you in any ways. No. So what you have is abilities, right? Right. Every one of those rights for you is an ability, right? It Something should be. Something you're able to do. It should be. And then yeah. and then the right as per defined is going to be a restriction on government and state on what they cannot do to you. Uh, supposedly. <laughs> right? Yeah. Not that they care about any of that, but yeah, supposedly. <laughs> that 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 would be it, right? Because you don't auto you don't get the ability to speak when you're given a right. It's not like I couldn't speak before. I didn't have any vocal cords, so but then I got my right, and now I got vocal cords, so now I can speak. Right, that, that's uh, yeah. not how it works, right? Exactly. Or or refuse to speak, uh, if that's your if that's your choice. Yeah. Exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Or protect too, yourself. Too few or... people remember that one group. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Sadly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll, we'll um, let's let's wrap it up here, and we'll we'll yeah. do uh, pick it up either here or someplace else at the beginning of next week. Sure. Um, sure. It's all connected. Yeah. Yeah. It is. And we got to do alfalfa beans or what they're called next week. Bean sprouts. No, the alfalfa. <laughs> that was bean sprouts, right? Oh, well, be, bean sprouts are, are typically in alfalfa. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Then uh next week's topic will be um bean sprouts, right? Well, unless we change our mind. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, All right. Uh, thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, we we've had a good time here doing the show. Um <laughs> hopefully you've had a good time listening to us uh with with any luck. Um, anyway, we'll be back again next Tuesday, same bat time, same bat channel. Uh, and uh, uh, thank you, Cirque, for joining me here. Uh, I, I, I have enjoyed this. I really did. Uh, and so the, it's a huge difference from... Uh, but it's Monday. I know. What did I, did I say, Tuesday? Yeah. Oh. All right. <laughs> I don't know, whatever, days or days. But on Tuesday, on Tuesday, <laughs> on, which on is, the 
first Tuesday of the week, not uh, the second Tuesday of the week, uh, but on uh, the uh, first Tuesday. On Tuesday, which is tomorrow, uh, <laughs> you, you have In a Perfect World with Flash, and he'll be going solo on that, so... Uh, uh, Check him out. He's on at 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern. Wait, no. Uh, is that right? Yeah, 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so check him out tomorrow. And there's nothing on Wednesday, but uh, Thursday is something. Or not. I forget. All right. Anyway, just check the schedule on reallibertymedia.com. And uh, thanks, everybody. Have a great week. Got anything else, sir? No, I'm good. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Drop it. like a whoop whoop. (laughs) All right. We'll talk to you all later. Peace.